Welcome to Massive Beers. My name is Matt. We do the beer stuff here. And um, yeah, today's beer comes courtesy of my boy Keith from 93 Lumber. Yeah, a little Nishamani Creek up in this piece. This is their Croydon is Burning. Um, this is a Bamberg style smoked lager. I've actually been wanting to review this for quite some time. I think it wasn't the last year's, it might have been a year before, or even a year before that. Keith and I did a live stream of GABF and I think this won like gold. It probably says on here um, that it won like a medal somewhere or something. And I'm pretty sure it did. And we're like, oh, Nishamity Creek with the smoked, smoked jams. And they came out with this. I believe it was in a mix pack, maybe a little less than a year ago. Uh, I know my buddy Keith had it then, um, but I never found it. So I was like, that's kind of a bummer. And I guess it came out in just regular four packs this year. And he was kind enough to grab a can for me. So thank you very much, Keith. Um, this is, like I said, a Bamberg style smoke lager from Nishamity Creek Brewing. They're just outside of Philadelphia, Northeast Philly. 5.7% alcohol by volume. It does not say anything about winning anything, which I kind of appreciate. Yeah, label-wise, it's actually pretty cool. It's kind of like a a farmhouse on fire with like a like a like a crow kind of thing going on. It's actually really cool artwork. Not something I really think about when it comes to Shawnee Creek. Never been a big fan of their art, so that's kind of cool. Um, so we'll just see where the sucker lands. Um, Keith has become a full-blown smoke addict which is good on him. I'm a big fan. Love me some smoke. And uh, yeah, so let's see what Sucker has to offer. Uh, first things first, it looks all the part of like a nice rich kind of basically Bach. You're looking at a double Bach level kind of coloration here, this rich kind of reddish hue with a decent dollop of brownness to it. Just over an index finger of infinite kind of creaminess going on. So it looks the part of a nice kind of rich bach kind of beer. Very much um, a double baki, a uh, soft little haze to it. So, yeah, let's even get a nose. I like that because it seems like it's a combination of like a little bit of that fatty smokiness that I typically get from like the Mount Rushmore Schlenkeler uh, breweries when they do like their kind of rashy, smoky stuff. It tends to come off more like kielbasa, bologna, kind of fatty kind of smokiness. But there's some kind of sweetness to it. Almost a la like a Flanders kind of cherry sweetness to it. So it's got this sweetness and richness, uh, Flanders sweetness, no sour or tartness on the nose, but that kind of cherry to it. Maybe even more like a Bacchi kind of sweetness since we're on that kind of um, on pathway. And it has that nice kind of uh, fatty, all not that aggressive kind of smokiness. It's definitely there in the nose. And it comes off as this sweet and smoky kind of delighty kind of thing going on. It's almost like dare I say, slightly cherry desserty. Roush, could it be? Let's just dive in. Cheers, y'all. That's kind of how it comes off to me. As it's like sweet. Cherry smokiness. Yeah, this is a cool beer. Uh, first things first, I'm going to start with a negative. Infinitely overcarbonated. Like, way overcarbonated. Like, almost at a point where it's like soda-like when you drink it. Now, as someone who kind of, more often than not, if I'm going to let have something go a little bit less carb or a little bit overcarb, I like it to lean more a little bit overcarb than undercarb. I don't think that really plays all that well with Roush beer. It kind of tempers a bit of the flavor profile in there, almost like that kind of um, the way um, carbonic acid kind of does it with hops for me. So that's kind of a big like, kind of, okay, that's a bummer. Now, we can let that sit for a little bit, let that kind of carbonation burn off a little, and really dig down into the beer, which does come off as like <laughs> a mixture. So if I'm going to break this down into the most simplest terms whatsoever, take a Doppelbach, take a nice, really well done American Doppelbach, take your Troganator, let's stick in Pennsylvania, take your Troganator, add a nice dollop of some sweet, delicious uh, Schlenkeler classic Rausch beer, um, and uh, throw a little bit of maraschino cherry juice in there. It's almost like you ever go to those old school kind of hot dog joints or little mom and pop delis and you want a cherry coke and it actually gave you like 
a Coca-Cola with a little bit of maraschino cherry juice in it. It's kind of how this beer's coming off to me, so I don't know if there's kind of like some cherry wood smoke kind of thing, or if they're using like a cherry malt, or I'm not quite sure what's going on, but there's this big, huge cherry component that I just can't get past. Um, it's not confectionery, it's not like fake or overly sweet, but it's super vibrant in a very, very fun way. And it's really kind of clean, crisp, denser kind of mouthfeel. Why my little light go out there? Sorry about that. Um, which you don't really think of when it comes to like like smoke beers. Uh, it very it comes off as like a nice kind of totly well-made kind of uh, lagerbaki base with that nice kind of slightly fatty bologna kind of smokiness to it, which isn't over the top. You're not going to drink this and go, oh my God, it's blowing away, me away with all the super smoke. It's there. You know it's there. But it's not going to be something that's like kind of like overpowering by any stretch of the imagination. And it is that cool kind of cherry component to it that really I kind of can't dismiss in any form or fashion. And it just elevates the beer to a very, very, very cool um, kind of point of pretty tasty, fantastical stuff. Yeah. It's really good beer, you know. Um, I, I wanted to give it a whirl. Uh, couldn't find it, and I'm really glad I did. Thank you very much again, Keith, for fin finally uh, sharing this with me. Yeah, finally. Yeah, it took you long enough, jerk. Um, but, yeah, no, this is actually one of the better... One of the better smoke beers I've had as of late. Yes, Mount Rush said is probably up there, if not on there. But I don't think it's the smoke beer portion of the show here that makes it a stellar beer. I think it's a stellar beer that happens to be a smoke beer, as opposed to one of the best smoke beers I've ever had. It's just a really well done, it's almost like, I want to put this more in kind of like one of the better box I've had as of late. I'm almost, I'm willing to bet every bit and piece of me that this is kind of somebody's really well done, like again, Doppelbach base that they tweaked and turned into this beer. Again, who knows? Well, the brewery does, and maybe other people do. I don't know. Um, but it's more like that kind of Mount Rushmore for me. But regardless, either way you kind of want to compartmentalize it, it comes off of a really tasty beer. And leave you with, man, if you like this, you'll just like, you know, it's almost like a bridgeable uh, smoke beer, actually. And it just kind of came to me. I think you can give this to somebody that's not a huge Roush beer fan, and I could see them really digging it. And conversely, I think you can give it to somebody that is a Roush beer junkie a la Keith, that really does enjoy it. So it's one of those beers that I can kind of bridges both ends of the spectrum in a very, very fun, very tasty way. Let's put it this way. I've had my fair share of Nishamani Creek, some hits, some misses, but some really good beers. Might be the best beer I've ever had from them. Yeah, and they make a lot of good beer. So there you go, review in the books. I'm curious. Have you had this beer, Keith? I know he's reviewed it. Actually, I know he posted a review. I did not watch it yet. Now I can go watch it without being unfettered in my opinions. Um, have you had this beer? Have you had the previous version? Have you been in Shamni Creek? What do you think of the brewery? What do you think of their beers? All that stuff down there. There you go. Review over. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying a little smoke right now. We'll see you next time. Cheers, y'all.